Plus, Jose and Melissa are working on your local headlines here. I'm keeping an eye on day three of the public impeachment inquiry hearings just starting about 10 minutes ago. Now, this is going to be a whirlwind. We're expecting nine depositions in just the next three days. Now, the first person you're going to hear from this morning is Jennifer Williams. She is the top advisor on Russia to Vice President Pence. Now, her closed door testimony was released over the weekend, and that prompted a tweet from President Trump naming her specifically, reading, tell Jennifer Williams whoever that is, to read both transcripts of the presidential calls. The president then going on to call her a never Trumper. Now, even though that she's an advisor to his vice president, Vice Pence. Now, you should look for Chairman Adam Schiff to maybe infer again here that this could be considered witness intimidation after the president had tweeted about former ambassador to Ukraine, Maria Ivanovich, on Friday during her testimony. Now, also this morning, I want to take you live to D.C. so you can get a look at the proceedings happening right now. This is uh, ranking member David Nunez, who is giving his opening statement after Adam Schiff just concluded his opening statement as well. Now, also this morning, after speaking with Jennifer Williams, you're going to see sitting next to her is Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. Now, he is a 20-year decorated Army Iraq combat veteran. He's also a Ukraine expert with the National Security Council. Now, both of them were on that July 25 call between Presidents Trump and Zelensky. Now, till this point, there's been a lot of talk about hearsay. All three of the witnesses testifying last week all testified that none of them had a direct direct conversation with President Trump. Now look for both of the witnesses today to say that they were disturbed by that call. Also, both of them will say that they felt references to Vice President Biden and to Burisma were omitted from the transcript that we saw. Now both of them are going to say that they felt this was unusual and that they ran it up the channels because they were so disturbed, th believing that there was no doubt the president was asking for something from the Ukrainian government in exchange for our support when it comes to their military aid. Now, as this goes on through the morning, I'll be looking for any um, kind of bombshell moments, anything that will tip you off to what's going to be happening this afternoon when we see two more uh, testimonies coming from witnesses as well. And I'll get that to you in about mm, a half an hour from now. Guys, back to you.